Let's see, that's good. I'm catching up on some things. And I look a little bit less scruffy. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back for I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. I got told the most unique thing. Um, that was that I had my date. I thought it went well. Um, the woman said that we're not romantically compatible. I've never heard that one before. Let me know what you guys think about that. Oh, um, by the way, tomorrow. Or, yeah, that's right, tomorrow. Or later today. Yeah, depending what time zone you're in, I guess. But yeah, I get to go back to live streaming. So I have to make decisions if I want to live stream. NXT for Tuesday Soup Day. Or... Should I make video? These are the tough, tough choices in my life. Impact. I don't know. Impact's been goofy. Ever since they gave me that... Strike. I might... For the week... I might stick to video reviews unless it's a big sh unless it's like a big show during the week <clears throat> and and what I mean by big show like a Halloween Havoc where it's on Halloween um yeah something like that then definitely for impact on the live streaming stuff you can hear the audio I think how do I have it set up yeah, I can't show video. Except for Triple Mania. Triple Mania Chapter 1 is coming up in a couple of weeks and I have to figure stuff out. But yeah, I'm not here to talk about any of that stuff. Um, no thank yous to give out. That's weird. I know I gave a couple out last time. But I'm here to go back in time. I can't use Pitbull's music because that they gave me a shame on you. But yeah. We're here to go back in time last week to A AEW. All Elite Wrestling was in Dallas. Again, they had WrestleMania there, all that stuff there. Oh yeah, and for those of you that, that know that, that that know me, I left my job, so I am getting used to an entirely new schedule. So I think there's just going to be a random adjustment period to that. Because then my next, my new work schedule starts Wednesday. So I had like Saturday off, Sunday was just nice. Today just, I actually, got, I actually felt like I got a lot done. Which is weird. But yet relax at the same time. Tomorrow I have to, I have to go fight people at Walmart for groceries. That's a whole other issue. Um, maybe go to Winn-Dixie for my fancy sodas. Contemplate what I want to do, possibly, for Triple Mania. Uh, look, look, I'll look for some future jobs, because I have jobs lined up, I think for the most part, until June. And then July would be an interesting month. August, I know I have work. And September starts up, so we'll see what happens then. But... You've heard enough about my, my woes, because AEW's been letting people go left and right. Joey Janela's gone. Big Swole's gone. Um, we haven't seen um, oh, Sonny Kiss in a while. Eva Bates showed up tonight. That was neat. wonder when she's going to be let go. Who else did they let go? Why do I think they, they let go of a whole bunch of women and brought a whole bashing new women in oh well let's get straight to it folks if you know let me know um start off with adam cole baby boom taking on christian cage and i started lock up the clean break in the corner and then of course we get the headlock and adam cole and christian are probably great wrestlers they can do anything adam cole Boom! Spit in the face of Christian. That wasn't good about that. 
um, Christian gets sent outside. He goes, <laughs> he like tosses himself over the steel steps. He doesn't even just ram his shoulder into it. He just, just he just clears the steel steps. Uh, now, out go, baby. Goes over the top rope. Uh, apparently, and Adam Cole has to learn there are no timeouts in pro wrestling. Um, no timeouts in any wrestling, I think. I think the only time you get a timeout is when there's blood. I know in mixed martial arts, it's when you get eye gouged. You get like five minutes. Or if you get like hit in the groin. So yeah, no timeouts. I'm kidding you, the Frankensteiner and then a spear and then only got him a two count. Adam Cole, baby! Again, off the break. Ah! Uh, straight thumb to the eye. Lowers the... Boom! Knee. And he wins. Um, solid match. Cheeseburger match. Then Adam Cole, Adam Cole, baby, calls out Hangman Adam Page. Um, who knows, they're going to have a match again. I don't know, Page as a champion is kind of lackluster. I don't know what it is about that. Who knows. Uh, then we had Max Caster. Max Caster, we are not worthy. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. His rapping ability. I'll tell you what, Joe, Joe had such, Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe was there, and Samoa Joe came out, and people are chanting, Joe, 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 da -da -da. Joe, 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 da -da -da. Joe, 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 well it wasn't quite his NXT Godzilla theme music, I think it was more of his Ring of Honor music, but yeah he was just there, Oh, leaning against the ropes. Nodding his head in approval, saying, mm, it's pretty good. Because Max Caster came out rapping. That was great. Match starts. They go head to head. S Samoa Joe just gives him the Samoan headbutt and the big chops and kicks. Um, he dives onto Max Carter. Max Carter tries to get some chops in. Joe no sells it. Hits them, sticks them up top for the Muscle Buster and Samoa Joe wins. Joe, 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 Joe is going to kill you. Great chant. Um, what did you expect? You knew Samoa Joe was not losing his first match out. So good to see Samoa Joe and the Muscle Buster. He, Samoa Joe looks like he's having a good time there, although he is all taped up all over the place. That can't be good. I know sometimes wrestlers, like, they say they put wrist tape on, not so much for the wrist, but to get grip. But when you have, like, like that elbow, that and I know he has a surgically repaired elbow, and that thing was taped all over the place. Um, it, it would be nice to see Samoa Joe. Have I, seen, have I ever seen Samoa Joe live before? Don't think he was touring. Was he in? I might have seen him on Raw or SmackDown. Maybe. I have to think about that now. I don't know if I've ever seen Samoja live. Why do I think I have, though? I might have. It might have been in one of the bigger house shores of like the holiday circuit they, they do. I swear I remember chanting Joe. That's okay. Honestly, though, ham sandwich of a match. Mainly because you knew what was going to happen. And then Scorpio Sky. Um, just talking smack and smacking talkers, which is always good to hear. Then we had William Regal. Jonathan Moxley and Brian Danielson talking. Regal just looks regal. Um, then our next match, next match, ugh, we had Sean Spears versus K 
Captain Sean Dean. Uh, Sean Spears had a big back break with Alex so good. The pump holder, shoulder break hole. He pulls him up for the two count. Bad idea. Always get the win when you can. It's called hubris, my friend. Hubris sucks. But yeah. Oh, although the, the big lucky thing that happened to me, I was driving to the gym, or I was, actually I had to go to the grocery store to pick up, I think, uh, the three things. I needed, I needed um, cheese crackers, energy drink, because lunch's almost over, and I got a fizzy grapefruit sparkling water. And into my window, a little ladybug flew and kind of traveled up and down my arm. Good luck. Or it's supposed to be, I think. Ladybug, la ladybugs don't do anything to people. They just eat other smaller bugs, which is good. But yeah, um, hubris. So again, I got lucky. I saw my ladybug. Hopefully, something good will happen. I did find some money, so that's always and some aluminum. So yeah, um, he pulled them out. That's a bad idea. Then out comes Wardlow. He starts beating up Jobber security. Uh, this is a distraction. Captain Sean Dean rolls up Sean Spears. Yeah, um, I do like where they're heading because at least they're having Wardlow be the big intimidating guy until there's way too many security people. Like in groups of twos and threes, Wardlow can take care of himself when there's like ten of them or after he's like gone through various levels of security. It's kind of bored. And he, of course, distracted Sean Spears and that was what he wanted to do. Sammy G left us a message. Um, my ideas of Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti have gone like straight downhill. Ever since they said they ejaculated on said belt. And ever since Sammy Guevara made a big deal of proposing to his girlfriend on, I forget if it was a TV show or pay-per-view. Then he just dumps her for that Brazilian piece of ass. That's what Ty Conti is. Let's, let's be realistic. There are so many gifts of Ty Conti's booty. It's oddly intriguing. But yeah. I don't know. That was just kind of weird. It's like, you just... Like, what happened to the poor girl you're engaged to? And now you're saying you're doing... You're... <laughs> yeah, you're going all the way on top of a belt. You are not Ric Flair, Sammy Guevara. Nowhere near it. Uh, then Hagar, the back, I don't know. Did something. Eddie Kingston came out, gave a promo, wanted to beat up people. Jay Cargill gave an interview, and this, this is where Lee Bay says, "I'll challenge you," and Jay Cargill just like laughed her away. So bad. Lee Bates just has the one cool looking T-shirt. It's just like an old school T-shirt with like stripes and a girl wearing like headphones on it. It says Lee Bates. It's actually pretty cool. And then I realized where she got her inspiration of Blue Pants from was the whole Fallout series, which is kind of nerdy. I dig nerdy girls, though. Hey, Leva Bates. I'm single, okay? But yeah, um, then we had actually a pretty good match. We had the Butcher and the Blade versus the Hardy Boys. And I'll tell you what. I don't know. The Bunny. Allie kind of approached them, only walked them, like, partially to the ring. And she seemed to be in her, her normal curves. And then a little bump there? It might have been the leather pants. It might have been the pleather pants. It might have been the lighting. It might have been the angles. Although when they, sh they, when they showed a side view, it was a little bit more than a muffin top. If not, Allie... Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. yes. And Blade or um, QT Marshall. You're the man. Yeah. And it starts off as a brawl because I think this is a tornado match. Oh, this was a tables match. This had weird rules because 
And there were so many tables in the ring already. And I'm like, wait a second. Because Hardy went through one table. Then they said, you have to do, you have to put your opponent through a table in an offensive maneuver. You just can't have a miscue on it. I'll tell you what. We just need to have simplified wrestling rules. WWE makes it very simple. You go through the table, you lose. That's that's it. Um, Impact and AEW are having a very convoluted rule system. I know when, yeah. The only way you go, went through a table and the wrestlers knew it's like, I don't want to go through a table. I go through a table, I lose. I think there was one tables match where someone lost because they they miscued a move and went through the table. The other person got his hand raised and they won. Yeah. And that's one major qualm with AEW. Is that there's no consistent rules or I'll say structure. Impact's kind of like that as well. Again, when they had that Texas death match, they're like, oh, she pinned them. She won. Huh? It's not over? I have to do this again? That's weird. Um, again, Ultimate X, very simple. It's just a version of a ladders match. Ladder match, self-explanatory. Extreme rules match, self-explanatory. When I start to over gimmick this stuff, it gets confusing. And then they and then so so Jeff goes to the table, and the table did not break. So I wonder. So again, this uh, the thing like he went on the table. There was an offensive move done on him to put Jeff through table. The table did not break though. Oh, that was weird. And Matt just those chair shots of Bush was pretty good. Jeff got eliminated. But apparently, because it's no DQ, he didn't have to leave. Because then the butcher got eliminated, and he didn't leave either. And why do they go through tables by themselves? Doesn't make sense. Um, the blade got busted open. Kind of makes sense for a, a no DQ tables match. You know someone's going to blade. Um, I think he did that kind of the hard way by accident. There was a double suplex from the barricade of the floor. That was pretty cool. That was by the Hardy Boys, though. Because, again, I guess they just kind of, okay, well, that's like one mark against you. Matt, if you go through the table, you lose. I don't know. It's weird. There was a, a twist of fate on the floor. Jeff, Jeff somehow found the tallest ladder. Oh, God. One day. And only because you've seen it every so often on YouTube with the indie circuit. Someone's going to go up that ladder. He's just going to go up that ladder. And listen, it already happened to, to Mor. It happened to, um, not Morrison, but Mercury. With that la ladders. The one thing I would be terrified of, if I, was, if I ever did become a pro wrestler, would be ladder matches. Steel cage, fine. Yeah, I'm not dealing with barbed wire. That's, that... At least with barbed wire, you know it's bad for you. Steel cage, you understand what can happen. Ladders, though, for whatever reason, they have a mind of their own. Again, so many instances of so many wrestlers dealing with ladders. I think there was an NXT match. A ladder bounced, bounced oddly. And if someone was on the op was was underneath that thing... That would not have been pretty. The ladders do have a mind of their own in that wrestling ring. They're that like, they say the referee's the third person. No, the ladder's the fourth person. The ladder's the true third person. The referee's just there. But yeah, Jeff on the tallest ladder um, sent the blade through the table then for the offensive mood. That means the butcher. And the blade were eliminated. And then Andrade El Illo came out as a distraction and started to beat the Hardys. And Sting and Darby Allen showed up. Yeah. Uh, this match was fun. Again. 
Allie didn't show up. I'd be pure guess. She has a little baby bump going on. Um, so yeah, overall, I'll say what it was only because it was confusing. It was a cheeseburger match. Then we had the Jurassic Express promo. Then we had Julia Hart versus Akaru Shida. Julia Hart kicks. And, ch and choked poor Hikaru Shida with her jacket. And um, Griff Garrison and... Oh, what's his face's son? Pillman Jr. We're like... What are you doing? And Julie Hart's like, get out of here. Whoa. Yeah, that eye patch and that black mist really affected Julia Hart there. Uh, Sheeta, however, comes back. It's a little too strong for Julia Hart. Hart uh, Julia Hart then eventually does the TDT in the ground and pound. Very unlike. Fun-loving, fluffy, jumpy, bouncy cheerleader Julia Hart. This is like goth cheerleader like emo Julia Hart uh, again she went for the eye gouge that's not a face move that's a heel move and then there was again Hikaru Shida just lowered the knee it was an okay match I did kind of like the turn of Julia Hart so I said you know what Cheeseburger match. And then in the main event of the evening. Actually, this was a great match. Uh, actually, not so much the main event, but we had Isaiah Swerve Scott give a little talk. Um, and then Hobbs got bounced through the wall by Keith Lee. That was great. Then in our main event. We had FTR versus the Young Bucks. Yeah, that was fun. That was some some little chest shoving going on. This was a great man. Delayed chance. FTR. Let's go, Young Bucks. FTR. Uh, FTR again. The double team. They're so good to the arm bar. Classic wrestling. Dax. Again, he he took off the one Young Bucks headband, stuffed it into his trunks, and threw it back at him. Again, classic insult there. You're putting your junk on top of another man's headgear and then throwing it back in his face. Back in the day, you didn't know what you had down there. Oh, yeah, it could be like crabs. And Joey Ryan had, had lollipops hit, hiding there. Who knows? All kinds of oils and, and sweat and other bodily fluids can be down there depending on how deep you go I guess yeah again not something you want to have that you put on your head or get tossed back to you um, so that was funny and ouch the young box driven into the turbuckle with some four stacks uh, unfortunately that's uh, the other guy gets beat up Dax gets a heart tag and the rolling pin attempts was great the pile driver they are just burying the pile driver. A move that's banned in WWE. They use left and right and people kick out of it. Oh, it's terrible. They had a backdrop on the apron. That looked pretty good. The Young Bucks, they did the Superplex Frank Designer duo. That's fun to see. Cash it a Gord Bomb. Uh, the Young Bucks, they kick. After a little bit of a distraction they had. Um, they tried to go for the Shatter Machine, but no. Actually, they did hit the Shatter Machine. Then it went man, more bang for your bunk. And... I don't know. How did the ref not see... Something, though? There was... Oh, yeah, there was a belt shot. And literally, like, the referee... Like you have, you don't have, I know you don't have 180 degree vision. You have, I think it's like 110 degree vision. 
It's like 110 or 120 degree vision. Out of the periphery, you see this big shiny object. Because, so say I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm here admonishing someone. Like over here, not that far away, I see this. Well, you can't see because it's off camera. But I see this big shiny thing come into play. No, no, no. I have a dumb ref didn't see that. Then we had our super kick party. Um, a foot on the ropes, that was good. FTR hit the power bomb. Something. They hit the BTE trigger. And then they hit their shatter machine. Solid match. FTR wins. Surf and turf match. So this was the last show I did last week, mainly because um, Friday was my last day. I had to close that night. <laughs> I don't have to go back there anymore. I, I just felt so much better after I dropped off my letter and realized I don't have to go there anymore. Um, it was good, I guess, until it wasn't good. Uh, Thursday, last Thursday, Impact just did a recap show. I'm not reviewing a review of a show. That's ridiculous. This week, however, event, uh, tomorrow I will be getting the Monday Night Raw stuff up. Uh, later, later this night, or tomorrow morning-ish, whenever. Uh, it will be, yeah. Um, I'll be doing NXT, that's right. Uh, Wednesday nights, again, AEW. Thursday, hopefully there's some impact on and Friday, depending what going on with the big network i'll get some of that saturday it's off and then sunday the daytona beach presents easter mania yes and then we'll see what happens next week yep so again i'd like to thank everyone everyone for watching please like share comment subscribe and i think my timer's almost up bye